Welcome again, my brothers and sisters, to American Mission Board sponsored The Simple Truth. I'm Pastor Jack Cromwell, and I'm so glad you've tuned in with us today here at American Mission Board's The Simple Truth. And that's what we have to offer you today is The Simple Truth from the Old King James Version Bible, all about Jesus Christ. My friend, I hope you've been tuned in this week. If not, give us a call, write us, get on our website. We'll be more than happy to send you a copy of of the programs. If you're listening this week and you're listening to this program, this is the first week we've been in your area, and we want to thank you so much for allowing us into your home or your car, wherever you may be. We ask you to keep us up in prayer. We pray for you. And we're so thankful to those of you who have already contacted us and said, I want to partner with American Mission Board. I want the 25 free tracks that you offer. My friend, we offer nothing for sale here at American Mission Board. We have nothing to sell. What we have is stuff that we give you to get in the hands of those that are lost, that they too may come to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Our verse of scripture that we have been using all throughout the week is a verse of scripture that was used back during the presidential election. And that verse of scripture is found in 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14. And my friend, it says this, If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves. And we talked about humbling ourselves on the last few programs. Humbling ourselves is when we get over who you and I are. We get over who we think we are, and we look at ourselves for who we are. Nothing but sinners saved by God's grace, made of dust of the earth, soon to return to it, this old body. It's about where the soul goes after that. That's what's important, my friend. If you're saved today, then you understand that. American Mission Board, see, is is designed not to reach out to those that are lost, so much as it is to reach out to those who are saved to wake them up and to get them the opportunity to work for Jesus Christ and understand they're his servants and God has a work for them to do. We're asking you to work with American Mission Board. You can contact us by the number be given to you at the beginning or ending of the broadcast. We're not asking for your money. If God lays it on your heart to send us a donation to continue this work, he'll do so, and I pray that you follow his will. But we're not here to ask for money. Everything we have is absolutely free. And we have this program now. We'd like to get you 25 free tracks in your hand. We'd like for you to reach out to five people a day, just five people a day, who don't know Jesus Christ and give them that track. And if everyone who are who is listening does that, we are getting out thousands of tracks a day for Jesus Christ. And oh, what a wonderful feeling it is to know that you're part of a family that is doing such a work for Jesus Christ. And that's what he's talking about, humbling ourselves, humbling ourselves and realizing that we are the servants of the Most High God. The Most High God is not our servant, unlike some people believe and act and pretend. My friend, look what he says. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray. Now, we talked about praying. You and I need to pray. We need to judge ourselves lest we be judged. My friend, we need to look at our hearts and find the things that's not pleasing and not honoring to God. Ask yourself this question right now and let the Holy Spirit answer you immediately and watch him answer. Friend, are you in your life where God wants you to be? And I bet half of you right now, the Holy Spirit, more than half of you, the Holy Spirit said, no, you're not where God wants you to be. God wants you to be working and laboring for him. You say, well, preacher, how can I work and labor for him? If you get in touch with American Mission Board this week, we've got this wonderful program this week. We want to get 25 free tracks in your hands so you can give five out a day. And if you just give five a day, that's 25 people you've reached this week for Christ. Now, whether they accept or don't, that's up to them, but that's 25 seed that you have planted this week. You'll be rewarded for that work that you'll do when you get to heaven. You may not see those people say, but you may, when you get to heaven, have strangers come up to you that you've never seen and say, thank you for joining with American Mission Board and the work that they did in America because of what you did. I'm here today. My friend, through your donations, through your work, through your partnership with us, Thousands of people will be reached for Jesus Christ. If we can only wake up the Christians and get them over themselves long enough, if they humble themselves and pray, pray and judge yourself. 
pray and ask God what you can do to help get the gospel out. And I believe God's going to say, listen to what, Je- what Pastor Jack is saying here at American Mission Board. He's not asking for your money. He's asking you to help get out my word about my son that I gave on the cross for whosoever will. And he wants you to work with him and so work with him. Look what he says. If they humble themselves and pray and seek my face. Well, my friends, Jesus said one time, if you've seen me, you've seen the Father. And so, my friend, if you have Jesus Christ in you, you already have the ability to seek God's face. You say, well, how do I do that? You do that through his word, through reading and studying and prayer and living your life in a fashion that God would be pleased, living your life in a fashion that if God were to immediately appear, he would find you working, praying, laboring for him. Oh, my friend, I'm not, I'm not telling, talking to you about being a fanatic. And going off the deep end, like some people like to say. But my friend, I'm just talking about a closer walk with Jesus. We're here at American Mission Board. Just try to tell people, try to tell God's people. A word that's not being mentioned in church anymore. Brace yourself for this. Because it's not used in churches and most preachers don't use it today on the airways. That word is sin. My friend, I want you to look and see what sin is in your life. Pray about what is in your life, what can be changed in your life, so you can have a closer walk with Jesus Christ. Because we at American Mission Board believe that the return of our Lord and Savior, the rapturing out of the church, is coming very soon. And my friend, are you ready today? Have you done all you can do for Jesus today to get the gospel out, to live your life in a way that he would be proud of? Oh, my friend, my my goal in life is to hear Jesus say two simple words to me, well done. And I know you want to hear the same thing said to you. And my friend, you can do this. You can do this by helping get out the gospel of Jesus Christ. And if you call American Mission Board or write us, we'll send you those 25 free tracks you give out. Five a day, that's 25 a week. If everybody that was listening did that, all the people that would be reached for Jesus Christ. We're not asking for your money. The tracks are absolutely free. We'll send them to you each week, a different track, so that you can reach people. We ask you to use them and get the gospel out. If God lays upon your heart to give a donation, we'd love that. You give the young lady your credit card number or whatever. Send us a check however you want to do it. However God lays it on your heart. That's between you and God. Your money is between you and God. Uh, We need money to carry on the broadcast and carry on getting out the gospel. And God will touch his people. They will obey him. Those who pray, seek his face. They will obey God with their finances and these programs to get out his gospel will continue. And if God tells you to give and you refuse to give, then you're in rebellion and you and God are going to have to deal with that. And so I don't even go into it. That's why I don't ask for your money. Look what he says. If they shall pray, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray, And seek my face. We just talked about seeking his face. Seeking his face is how we uh, conduct ourselves with our prayer life. How we read and study God's word. How we act when we're out in public. Do you have to tell people you're a Christian? Or can people listen to you talk for a couple of minutes and see how you react for a couple of minutes and know that there's something different about you? Well, see, when you begin to seek God's face, God begins to make a change in you. This verse of scripture was used as, as I said in earlier broadcast by our president and vice president concerning the, uh, right after the election. And that was wonderful. It thrilled my heart to hear them use God's word in its entirety. But my friend, it is not written to Congress or the president or the vice president. This verse of scripture was written to you and I. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves you see friends man has to be changed from the inside out not the outside in you can't legislate it you can't law it in you can't executive order it in my friend you have to invite him in his name is jesus christ he said behold i stand at the door and knock if you're hearing me today and you've just been one of those people that just go to church and think everything's fine and and the preacher gives you some good inspirational message, my friend, if your preacher's not told you the simple truth, and the simple truth is all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. My friend, if you have never, if you don't remember a time 
that you ask Jesus Christ to forgive you of your sins. If you don't recall a time that you realized you are lost and on your way to hell, and you ask Jesus Christ to forgive you and to come into your heart and to be your Lord and Savior, and you realize it's not through any goodness that you have done, any goodness that is in you or I, but it is because of the mercy and the long suffering of the most holy God that he sent his only begotten son, a sacrifice, the only sacrifice worthy of the sins of the entire world. And his name is Jesus. And it's up to you and I to seek his face. And we seek his face through the simple truth, not through the prettied up, fluffed up words at the televangelist and the and the punny uh, pocket picking preachers out there today have but through the simple truth of God's word what he says and here he's talking about healing our land and I know you love America as much as I do I love this country I wore the uniform of this country I have two sons that one's a marine one's in the army my son-in-law's in the marines we are a family of military people we love this country we love this flag but I tell you what I love Jesus even more and I love the opportunity of working with my brothers and sisters to get the gospel out. And we at American Mission Board hope you join with us. And that's how you seek God's face is whenever you begin to join hand in hand with God's people to get the gospel out. You're seeking God's face. You're seeking his will. When you study his word so that it's in your heart and in your soul that you can share it with other people. You remember what Jesus said about the Holy Spirit? He said uh, in John chapter 14, he said, I'll pray the Father that he send another comforter. And when he comes, he's going to remind you of all things that ever I said to you. What a wonderful thing to know that the Holy Spirit was going to come and remind each and every one of us of what Jesus has said to us. But you know what? If we weren't there listening when Jesus said it, the Holy Spirit can't remind us. You say, well, preacher, none of us was there when Jesus said it. Listen, I'm talking about reading his word. You don't read his word, how can the Holy Spirit use it to help you out in situations that you're in? Now is a time more than ever that Christians need to begin to seek the face of God, to learn and to turn from their wicked ways. My friend, today people are not seeking the face of God. They're seeking happiness. They're letting the prosperity preachers tell them that everything is okay. The preachers or the people up there on the, the stage are afraid to talk about sin. They're afraid to run people off. Most of them are there, my friend, not for the love of the souls of the people that are in the congregation, but for the money that's in the offering plate when it's passed around. We're not that way here at American Mission Board. Listen, I don't want the money here upon this earth. It tells me, the Bible tells me one day it's going to burn up. God provides for my needs day by day and that I love. Listen, my Savior's never let me down. He'll never let you down. I sought his face, and when I found his face, he told me that he loved me so much, and he loves you too. And I want you to join with us here at American Mission Board to reach out to those that are lost with the love of Jesus Christ and the mercy of Almighty God, that their sins too might be forgiven, that they too might have a home in heaven. As uh, Solomon said over in Ecclesiastes, this is the whole duty of man, to get the gospel out to tell others about Jesus Christ. And my friend, if you'll join with us at American Mission Board, we'll send you those 25 free tracks so that you can begin to work for God and stay with us each day at this time and check with Wilkins Radio, the station you're listening to now, and say, hey, what time is The Simple Truth on this weekend? That's the name of our program, The Simple Truth. My friend, it's not what I think. It's not what you think. It's what God said. Somebody said to me one time, God said it, I believe it, and that settles it. Well, my friend, that's cute, but I, I corrected him real quickly. I said, well, no, you're wrong. It's like this. God said it. That settles it, whether you believe it or not. And my friend, that's what we're doing here at The Simple Truth, sponsored by American Mission Board. Go to our website. Join with us. Help us to reach others for Jesus Christ today. I hope and pray you have a good day today and join with us tomorrow.